how are you? Uh, today I'm here for a book review. Uh, Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier is something that I just finished reading about two days ago and what an experience. I have to talk about it, I have to tell you all about it, I have to convince you to read it. Let's get started. First I want to talk about the author a little bit just because I like doing that. Uh, so Daphne du Maurier was born in 1908 and I believe she passed away in 1989. 19 89. She grew up with pretty creative uh, parents. She grew, grew up in a creative family, to say the least. Both of her parents were actors and her grandfather was a cartoonist, so I think growing up in that environment probably really encouraged her into that creative lifestyle. Another fun fact about her is that she's actually cousins with the group of boys that inspired J.M. Barry's characters in Peter Pan. So I'm thinking the boys kind of inspired, you know, him for the Lost Boys and so she's related to them. So that's such an interesting weird fact and I just thought I would share that with you. So she's most well known for being an author and a playwright and a lot of her novels and her short stories are so successful and popular and have been adapted like My Cousin Rachel, the, her short story The Birds, and then Rebecca as well. And I think it's safe to say that Rebecca is her most successful work. I mean everyone I think knows about Rebecca. If you don't know what it's about you've at least heard of Rebecca. It's just it's just Rebecca. So I, I really wanted to read this book for the longest time because of that, because I feel like it was just one of those books that was always there. So happy that I read it. Anyway, let's jump into the book, Rebecca. What is Rebecca about? Rebecca follows our main character. She's a young woman who's paid to be the companion of this old woman. And so she's just with her, taking care of her. It's when she's with this old woman in Monte Carlo that she meets the widower, Max de Winter. And they, over time, become friends, and then steadily they fall in love. And then Max asks this main character, who is nameless, we never find out her name, he asks her to marry him. And so she, being a young, sort of insecure, naive woman, says, okay, I'll, I guess I'll marry you, that's fine. But she leaves her job, and she goes with Max, and they go to live together in his big ol' estate called Manderley. And Max is, is very well off, well known in his community. Our main character really doesn't know what she's getting into, and it's later when she's at the home with Max that she finds out that Max's previous wife, Rebecca, died under really strange circumstances. And as the story progresses, our main character kind of feels like she's constantly being haunted or shadowed by Rebecca and she feels like she can never uh, be up to par to Max's previous wife. And that's the gist of the story. I'm gonna try not to give away any spoilers so please bear with me, but first I want to talk about our cast of characters in this story because I feel like they're all twisted, odd, strange, cruel, weird, and I feel like they're the type of people that you're never going to like. You can never truly root for in a way, but they're written in such a well-crafted way that you just can't help wanting to read more and to learn more about them and just to see how their story is going to play out, how it's going to end. We have our main character who's unnamed. She's such a young, vulnerable, innocent, naive character, but she's constantly being um, just compared to Rebecca and she feels like she can never, you know, uh, be good enough for her husband and this household. So she, in a way, becomes very annoying because she's just constantly comparing herself to Rebecca. We can never truly root for her. You want her to do well, but she makes really, really awful choices. And then we have her husband, Max, and he feels so guarded, like something's haunting him, something's eating away at him. You can never really fully believe their love story. Like, I just don't believe that they truly love one another. I think that they're just both using each other as a way to kind of deal with everything everything that's going on and they're just trying to reach at at straws in this story you know and then our villain of this story our um, antagonist if you would her name is Miss Danvers and she used to she basically raised Rebecca and she helped run the household with Rebecca and she is just one evil cruel sinister character and I loved reading about her because she was just so wicked to our main character she was constantly saying oh Rebecca used to do this this way Rebecca used to do this this way you'll never be as good as 
is Rebecca, you'll never be the true Miss De Winters in this household because Rebecca, 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 she was basically in love with Rebecca. Um, this lady was creepy and she did so many, many awful things to our main character. These main three characters really pulled the story along. We have some side characters. We have Max's sister Beatrice and she was actually really delightful to read about. She was the only character I actually sort of liked. Now I want to talk about the tone of this book because I think a lot of people think that this is a horror novel. It's not. It's more of a thriller you could say. There is a bit of mystery towards the end but it's not really a mystery. It's just thrilling. It has such a such a slow build up that when you're reading this from our main character's point of view you feel like you're you're slowly going through the story and and it makes you anxious and it makes you just want to know what's going on until we get to this crazy climactic moment and then we find out everything and it's just because you never really see what's coming at least I didn't see the ending coming and all of the reveals and whatnot it was crazy but so worth the read so if you pick up this book just know that it is slow moving but it's so worth it in the end Another thing I want to bring up are the themes that are running throughout this story and there's quite a few but I think the biggest ones that stand out are one insecurity. Our main character is constantly insecure of her own self within the story. Another thing would be jealousy. Our main character is jealous of what she wishes she could be and she's jealous of Rebecca in the sense that she doesn't think she'll ever be up to par. Our antagonist is jealous of our main character in the sense that she doesn't want her to have everything that she she has. We have this weird love obsession thing going on within this story. Our main character is says she loves her husband but I feel like she's more obsessed with what she has and what she doesn't want to lose and and that is prevalent throughout the entire story within a lot of other characters as well. This story also talks about how the past can really eat away at you and how you know you could try to hide the truth for as long as you want but the truth will always come out and when it does it's going to it's going to do a lot of damage so it's it's just crazy within the story. I think overall this story is ridiculous. I don't want to go into spoilers but the decisions of these characters and the things that they do, the reveals that happen. Our main character, the way that she is just, no matter what happens within this story, our main character still loves and wants to stay with Max and that just blows my mind. It's so entertaining. It is so ridiculous. I cannot, I can't, I don't like any of these characters. This story is crazy and, and just off the walls. If I don't reread it, I'm going to watch the movie because it's been adapted by Hitchcock, the guy that directed Psycho, so I really, really want to watch the adaption of Rebecca. Yeah, I don't know what else I really want to say. This story is clever. It pulls the reader in and is so smart in everything that it does and I loved it and I couldn't recommend it enough. If you've read Rebecca, I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Um, yeah, that's my review for today. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Marry you, Rebecca. No. Rebecca!